days. I really just took the wrong turn on purpose because it's still raining. <laughs> it's supposed burn to clear up, burn up. up some time here. <laughs> Two and a half hours more to burn up here. Let's see where I can take us next. Oh yeah. About to head on up here. Same spot we did last year. Same, same, but different. We're gonna probably spend more time bivying on that far side. Weather dependent, because we've got the stove and the big teepee, so we'll be setting up a uh, somewhat of a base camp, I guess. Right here on this close side, which isn't very far up there. It's a nice short hike. And then we'll go over the mountain to the other side and baby over there. And then anytime it's really pissing down, we're getting soaked, we'll just hike back to base camp and dry out. About to set up camp here, our old spot, our old humble abode, if you will. I know. I like. I honestly, like, probably one of the last things I would have expected is for it to be raining. To be honest. set. Well, we kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle. It's, uh, up top, the fog rolled in. We have an hour to get to where we want to go. Maybe we'll be able to find a flat spot. We'll just wing it. Yeah. So we kind of put ourselves a little bit of a pickle. We have to dig a spot to sleep on the side of the mountain. So it's not flat at all over here. There might not be any deer in the morning by the time we're done. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell right now what we got going on. It's pretty intricate. The old dog out. Is that dog out? Yeah, old dog out. Kyle found a deer. Already. Across on the far side, there's some. Not bad. There's shooters. There's shooters. Couple of shooters. Dude, there's two of them that are nice. Nice, nice ones. Well, there's a different one across. Oh, that's probably that fork. There's food. We got the box over there. Just box on, box on, box. stepped up to take a piss here and there is a buck right down there. He's right down. I don't know how big he is, but he's a buck. Dude, he's sleeping. <laughs> we're looking at a, we're looking at, I mean, two really nice bucks on a peak of all, I don't know, feels like a million yards away. <laughs> There's a lot sitting there below us. That's classic though, always just looking fucking 8 million miles away and there's shit right below you. Beautiful sunny day. Bucks everywhere. We have bucks located where I don't even look for sheep because it's so high. <laughs> but if hopefully if we get them to stay there. I used to like when I'd be like crushing on a girl back in like high school and stuff. Or I'd just start like hanging out with the girl. I'd always dream about her. Now I dream about crashing ships and <laughs> mice hunting. <laughs> so what's wrong with me?
see, he's not far right there, but the only way to get to him is up and then come down on top. If he comes this way and beds down, that door stays there. That should be pretty peachy to get up on top of him. See those bushes down at the bottom, kind of? Yeah, that's, that's a range. That's right what now. I think we have to get to. Down like in the middle of that little gully. Yep. 260 to that. And 294. So I'd be like a 35 yard shot. Okay. Because if we get down into those, as long as we can get to that, that brush right there, I think we could use those trees to our advantage to kind of snuff. You're talking, you're talking these most scraggly ones in the middle, in between the two. Yeah, as long as we can get around those without a noise. Unless we go even lower. It looks like we can right there, and then he won't be able to see us. Right, yeah, just because of the bridge. Yeah, so we'll have to get down and back up to that. That's what I'm thinking. He stood up out of his bed.
so close but so far. We actually were like so close and so close. <laughs> Two shooters over here. Two big ones too. So I'm just taking a few photos just to make sure in case we get over there and we're like what the F is going on here. So we're just gonna skid Adel on over there and get a look if we can hopefully get around the back side of this and come up and over. But that looks really, really cliff-like over there. Like really cliff-like, so we're probably screwed. We we're kind of hoping it's to come up this here front side, but there's we found a couple other deer kind of tucked away in little hidey holes. That'll definitely bust us if we try that. So our only option is to go around the back side. We don't know if that's possible, so we're just gonna go check her out, give her a little look ski, and go from there. Give her a little peek, you know, just a, just a little, little peek. I hope we made her over to the new spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kind of peaceful listening to that rain hit though, huh? Mm hmm. In a way. Yeah, I know it is. I'm just closing my eyes and thinking <laughs> until I fall asleep. <laughs> I'm just pulling the old man move. Just closing my eyes. Dad, are mm -hmm. you sleeping? No, just closing my eyes. Why, eh? I don't think I bet. Yeah, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Yeah, I <laughs> know. No, I'm just closing my eyes. <laughs> it's like it's like a sarcastic thing. Why? <laughs> hey, it's already noon. Huh? Yeah. Say I'll fly by. Yeah, it won't be bad. It's lunch. Yeah. We can eat lunch. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Unreal. We would piss in old mountain house containers so we didn't have to go out into the rain. Oh boy, serving some good pressure too. Well, the fog lifted in this little basin we're in here. Two quality bucks that are bedded together. So if we this overcast, they hold a little bit longer than they have been. Here comes the fog. Get all the way across here, over that ridge. That's over there, and then kind of straight up above where some does are. Because from these bushes here, even if they're pretty close, it's still like like an 80 yard shot. So we'll probably just kind of circle around a little bit, get more, more up above those bucks where they are. Hopefully we kind of worm our way down through some rocks.
that dark patch just above his right shoulder blade is where the arrow went in. Came out about on his left armpit. He's bedded down with his back facing towards me. later he's still alive he's been alive so long managed to punch Kyle's tag in the meantime this is getting ridiculous I just don't understand it I snuck in there the next morning tried to shoot him but I ended up bumping him and I scared him down the mountainside We trailed it. Me and Kyle went in there. See, the first day I went in there by myself. And I lost the blood trail. Second day, me and Kyle went down in. Picked up the trail again and followed it for quite a ways down the mountain again. Just It'd just be a speck of blood here and there. It basically stopped bleeding. We just we were like falling hairs. Any stick ideas? Dead rabbit, dead rabbit, dead rabbit. Going in sideways a little bit. Oh, good this is. There's never, there wasn't a doubt in my mind at first that that thing was gonna die. And then 10 minutes later, I don't know, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna take next to nothing here. I might grab a GoPro. I may go bring a camera too, just in case. I'm just gonna hike up to the top of that. That's generally covered in deer. This was the last day I had to hunt here. I was really hoping for some of that last day magic. As I snuck within range, he just happened to stand up out of his bed. And he's kind of looking towards me, so I was froze there for a little bit, and he eventually turned his head, and I just didn't waste any time with the GoPro. I just drew back and shot him. And he ran about 50 yards, and then laid down and kind of fell over, and that's when I reached down real quick, grabbed my GoPro, and that's what you'll see here. No, 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 stop sliding. Stop, stop, stop. Stop sliding. Stop. It's all tangled up in a tree right now. 
There he is. At least I got some meat for the freezer here. Just a little guy, but we'll take it. I'm just gonna keep him in the shade for right now. Look at my pack. Shot him and he tumbled from up up here. He was up there. Tumbled and there he lies right there. I'm sure you can see the exit was pretty far back. I'll take it. I think the entrance is somewhere up here. But look at this place. Right up there, right in about this. 